rectangular back, this time with another haul video. Here we have some loose figures I picked up. Um, I think all of them came from eBay. So on the far left we have, I don't know the name of this guy, but he is made by Happy Worker. I think he, yeah, he was a State Farm uh, branded figure or, you know, promotional figure for State Farm. And I think he came with maybe a briefcase, I'm not sure, but uh, mine was incomplete. Got him for cheap, I think like seven, seven dollars ship, something like that. And uh, I want to say he came from China, um, I think from Hong Kong. Um, so very good deal for um, a decent figure. Uh, mostly it got him because I love that uh, that head sculpt that expression on his face is just so um, uh, kind of you know happy and innocent uh, just um, kind of dopey so um, yeah he's gonna make a great uh, civilian character got uh, pretty decent articulation um, I've reviewed quite a few of these figures on my channel so um, check them out if you're interested and then next to him we have the Marvel Legends Thundra. I got her for a custom that I'm going to be working on here pretty soon. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I have a, uh, had a couple of these already. Um, uh, I'm actually going to take her apart for a couple of different um, customs. But uh, one is that I want to use the feet on my Storm, not Storm, Phoenix figure the um the phoenix from the gosh was that the juggernaut wave i think that was from the the juggernaut wave because she's got um those wedge high heel shoes and she's really hard to stand i think it was slings who um who came up with that idea which is a, a great idea for kit bashing her so doing that foot swap so so thank you swing slings for that idea and uh, next to Thundra we have Tila from Masters of the Universe Classics and she came complete um, I got her I think for uh, $22 shipped so um, pretty damn good deal um, you can get um, a production overrun from China for 20 shipped if uh, nobody else bids on her but she doesn't come with the sword and um, yeah, I'm gonna make a custom out of her. And uh, yeah, I'm surprised that she's a really nice figure. This is one of the few Masters of the Universe Classics figures that has ankle rockers. Um, I, you know, I was talking to my friend uh, Shannon Bowie um, when I got her and uh, was looking for different ideas for a custom that I want to do. And um, yeah, I said that uh, she's one of the very few that um, that does have ankle rockers, and um, she's got um, a boot swivel and um, a really nicely hidden uh, uh, upper bicep swivel there. Um, so the only thing she doesn't have is um, what's it called uh, hinges. So I'm actually going to take the hands off of Thundra. And swap them out with a uh, Tila, and hopefully that will that will go off without uh, too much issue. Obviously, the paint's not going to match 100%, but I can probably match it without uh, not a whole lot of problems. So, yeah, looking forward to that. And then finally, we have the Gamora from the Entertainment Earth exclusive box set, and I want to say I can't remember how much I paid for her. Um, it was more than I wanted, um, but uh, not bad. Um, gonna use her first. Um, gonna use the uh, alternate head that she comes with for a custom, and I'm gonna repaint her to be accurate, comic accurate with uh, Volume Two, where instead of the gold highlights on her costume uh, it's red and then uh, the green of her costume is uh, blue so that will be um, a lot more accurate to uh, volume two of the comics so um, then I'll have you know a lot of people 
who don't read the comics, they'll put her with the Star Lord that came from that set, and it's not comic accurate because of the the gold and the green. So um, this is more of a, a cross between oh, and you actually have to get rid of the uh, the fishnet uh, there on the front um, center of her costume as well. Um, yeah, this is a, this is more kind of a, a uh, a mashup between her original costume and her costume in Volume Two, so um, not really comic accurate to to any um, any Gamora that you're that you're gonna see. So I think there might have been in the beginning of uh, Volume Two where she might have looked um, similar to this, but it should be the blue and the red. So yeah. Hopefully that will uh, go off well, and with that, let's move on to the next set of items. Next, from a company called Maisto, or Maisto, not exactly sure, we have a Harley-Davidson motorcycle, 112th scale. I uh, can't remember what they call Oh, this is the 2014 Sportster Iron 883. Uh, I think it's Iron. It's a weird font, but um, yeah, this I got on Amazon, I think for 13 shipped, so pretty damn good deal. Um, you can find it on eBay for like 15, 16 shipped, something like that. And um, yeah, I'd already have, I have some uh, motorcycles from this same company, but uh, nothing... Um, you know, chopper style, Harley style. They're all, let's see, I have two uh, street bikes and uh, two police motorcycles. Uh, let's see, I don't have a off-road motorcycle and I didn't have uh, uh, a style like this. So I wanted um, something um, that would look better for like uh, Wolverine and Captain America. Steve Rogers, um, since you know they they don't really ride um, uh, Asian uh, street bikes, uh, Japanese um, street bikes, so uh, didn't want them to look uh, out of place on those. So yeah, this um, this should work quite well. Haven't um, haven't taken out of the package yet to uh, to try any figures on it, but uh, uh, really like the way it looks. Um, I was debating between getting this one and one that has a black um, exhaust pipes, but uh, kind of like the the chrome. Hopefully, it won't uh, be a challenge to to light in pictures. Won't be too too much reflection uh, off those pipes. All right, let's move on to the next set of items. Here from Mattel, we have the WWE Elite Kamala figure. Two of them. I got these on Amazon. I think I paid 21 shipped for the pair, so uh, really good deal. Um, yeah, initially, you know, I don't collect wrestling figures, but uh, I saw my friend uh, Al Chang do a really cool um, setup with uh, Black Panther, and he had some. I'm assuming he used these figures. Um, if not, then somebody made the suggestion of using these. Um, in his setup, but uh, yeah, he did a, a really cool um, setup with uh, Black Panther with uh, some um, Wakanda like guards, um, you know, set up with Black Panther, and uh, um, yeah, this uh, these should work out really well. Um, I, I was surprised at how how cheap they were because uh, elites usually go for um, a lot more money but uh, I guess he's just not a not that popular of a character so yeah that, that uh, you know always love when you can get um, really good ideas when, from other people you know it's always um, it's always great to take inspiration from other people's work but um, you know give credit when credit is due um, you know if you see somebody do something cool, um, you know, definitely give them credit and don't try to do exactly what they're trying to do. We call those people biters. All right, let's move on. 
Here we have some miniature arcade games that I picked up on eBay from the same seller. And yeah, these things are pretty damn cool. I previously got one a long time ago, one of my early haul videos, that was um, Gauntlet 2. And I don't know for sure if it was the same seller. Uh, these seem a lot better quality than the one I got years ago. Um, so if it is the same seller, he definitely um, stepped up his game. I uh, thought about maybe getting um, a couple from Punker Mike, because I know he has made some in the past for people. But um, I know he's pretty busy and um, didn't want to didn't want to bug him. So uh, when I saw these on... Um, eBay I went ahead and uh, pulled the trigger and um, yeah these uh, I wasn't a huge uh, gamer growing up but I uh, did spend a lot of time um, at the mall and in arcades um, I grew up in the 80s and uh, these were the three games that um, definitely saw a lot of when I was uh, when I was growing up um, uh, Gauntlet 2 also, or Gauntlet and Gauntlet 2, I played uh, those quite a bit. Um, the My favorite game from that era um, that I didn't see was uh, Space Harrier. I would uh, like to get one of those, that would be pretty cool. But um, yeah, these are really well made. Um, they're, uh, I don't know what kind of wood... It's, it might be balsa wood, it might be another type of wood, but um, really nice uh, glossy um, cutouts. I don't know how exactly he's printing these out and attaching them, but they look very legit, um, really well done. I thought about getting the ones that um, you can get from import places and Amazon. Um, which are a little more expensive, um, but those are uh, plastic and um, they're a little more detailed than these, but um, these still look really nice. And um, you know, I was more concerned about the, the cost. So we've got uh, Centipede here in the middle and um, Joust here on the left, and of course, Pac Man there on the right. So, yeah, very cool. Um, I liked Pac-Man, but it uh, was not, not my favorite favorite game. I'd much rather um, have Asteroids, but um, I wanted three of different colors. I wanted three different colors, so depending on whatever background I was using, it wouldn't uh, clash with the background and whatever figures I was using as well. So I wanted to have three very different um, colors and um, also wanted some uh, some different shapes as well and uh, and also wanted games that I um, that I remember seeing a lot of in the in the arcades growing up and uh, that I didn't um, dislike so very cool and with that let's move on to the last set of items finally this week we have the Marvel Legends 2 pack from Toys R Us with Phoenix and Cyclops. Now, I don't live close to Toys R Us, so I had to reach out to friends, and fortunately my good buddy Al Chang was able to hook me up with this set. He lives down in the Los Angeles area. And, uh, yeah, um, these things are very nice. I uh, wouldn't mind having another, another Phoenix, um, primarily for those heads. Uh, initially, I wasn't um, all that uh, thrilled with the way these looked in the promotional pictures, but man, in person they they look fantastic. And I'm really surprised at how many people don't care about that Phoenix. Or I'm sorry, that Cyclops. But um, you're going to need him for for setups for sure. Um, I, I'm guessing maybe a lot of people have the Toy Biz one. Um, I much prefer this one, the, the Toy Biz one. The boots look um, obnoxiously large on that one. 
but uh, Hasbro's been really stepping it up. The uh, paint applications are, are pretty damn good on these. Um, I like the, the light blue wash that they put on um, on Cyclops. And uh, Jean, the only issue with her, with the one that I got, is um, she's got a little bit of extra red paint on her um, inner thigh, just a little speck, I think, on both thighs, but nothing that I can't scrape off. Um, yeah, I'm a big, uh, I'm not a big X-Men fan, but um, the Dark Phoenix saga was one of the best comic book runs of all time. Um, uh, you know, especially for Marvel, and um, I really wanted uh, the Dark Phoenix for that to be able to recreate um, some setups from from those books. And um, these uh, these heads are are really nice. I'm looking forward to putting the um, both the uh, power down heads on. Probably the the Jean Grey that we got in the Juggernaut wave. Um, I don't have a huge problem with that uh, that head on the the Juggernaut Jean Grey. It, you know, it, it's not the best, but um, it, it it's not not terrible in my opinion. Uh, you know, it does look like a Celine Dion, which bothers a lot of people. But uh, you know, I'm not I'm not huge in invested into X-Men and uh and Jean Grey so it doesn't really bother me that much but um I'm assuming that the can of beams effects that I reviewed will fit on this Cyclops as well. I'm pretty sure that the visor is exactly the same in fact you know I think the heads other than the paint is exactly the same as the um Cyclops that we got in the Warlock wave. So um, I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure uh, they'll work the same. And yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to be um, doing more reviews on those uh, can of beams effects. I got some more in. So um, yeah, check those out if you like. And hopefully you guys like this video. You share with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I always love hearing back from you guys, so please leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.